The U.S. says it is confident that Hamas was using the Al Shifa hospital as a command center, and now the supposed proof. Totally confirmed, without any doubt. At the State Department, shrugging off the scant evidence. I'm surprised when I hear people saying, oh, there were only 10 rifles in this room. It's a hospital. It's a <laughs> no, hospital. No there ball. shouldn't be any assault rifles. Hold on. There shouldn't be any assault rifles at a hospital. At the Pentagon, also still standing by the undisclosed intelligence it says it has. Yes. Hi, you keep talking about the intelligence in the past tense, that you believe, the intelligence believes, Hamas has used hospitals. Do you have intelligence that they currently are? I have only the intelligence that I read out, the downgraded intelligence that I read out yesterday, um, or sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, on Tuesday. Uh, past tense, present tense, I don't want to parse out words here, but we know that Hamas has been using the hospital, the Al Shifa hospital, and other hospitals in Gaza. Um, I'm not going to get into more specifics on, you know, what they're doing now, whereabouts, all of that. We know that the IDF has taken control of Al Shifa Hospital, um, so I don't have more to to share with you on that front. It matters because under international law, you have to have proof that a uh, combatant is co is currently right then in that moment in the hospital in order to strike. Yeah. yeah. Again, when I read out the downgraded material, we felt very confident that Hamas was using that hospital um, to conduct its operations. This is what they found. While the Biden administration is trying to downplay the lack of evidence presented to the public, experts say it could have a decisive impact on the future of the war. This is really a turning point because if it turns out the Israelis are wrong, I think the pressure is going to be on them to have a ceasefire, which is a good step because it will stop the killing, at least temporarily, while we, the diplomats can work out some sort of arrangement. At the Pentagon briefing, there were about as many questions on U.S. troops being targeted in Iraq and Syria as there were on this evidence. So while the Biden administration might not feel much pressure from the American media when it comes to his allies, that might be a much different story if Israel can't come up with actual proof that Hamas was in the hospital. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera at the Pentagon. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.